Hello and welcome back to the Hourglass. Beautiful souls, star seeds, and tarot lovers. All right, so we're doing a divine masculine energy update, right? And I just wanted to say that we're going through this 12-12 portal that's happening on the 12th of December. It's all about the cool moon that's in Gemini. So we do have a lot of placements in Capricorn energy, uh, placements in the planets. Um, and that's all about being diligent, being stern. So try to be easy on yourself, you guys. All right. Um, Capricorn raises questions about your perception of self-worth. So um, this is going to be a very... Um, <laughs> This is going to be a very trying time, you guys. It's a, it's a lot of tests about self-worth that's going to crop up. And it's, these are the opportunities that you're going to have to decide how well you want to work with your own destiny. All right. So with that being said, let's continue. I do feel like this um, divine masculine name has a lot to do with C, K, L. I'm seeing M. All right. So I'm, I am going to put that in the title. So let's see what's going on with your divine masculine at this time. All of the messages are not going to resonate each and every time, you guys. It's okay. It's fine. There are many other different tarot readers that you could check out. There are many different other um, videos on my playlist that you could check out as well. So let's get into it, you guys. Let's see what this divine masculine really wants to um, let us know. And again, this is a mission about healing and ascending, you guys. It's about raising awareness, raising the frequency, all right? You may or not end up with your twin lover. And it's all because that's just the way how um, the contracts is at times. is just to help you to be your highest self, all right? To tap into your spiritual gifts, um, to raise your awareness, all right? So the first card we have is seek an expert. Ooh. So your divine masculine may be needing to seek some help here, you guys. I'm going to read from the book real quick. This deck is fairly new. I know I keep saying that. All right. So it says the ego loves to struggle through problems on its own, refusing to seek support and expertise of others. It's like it likes to be in control and views soliciting uh, assistance as weakness that it doesn't want to indulge in. Yet it Yet, if you had a toothache, you would attempt to fix your own tooth, or would you seek a dentist? <laughs> if you if you if you hurt your back, would you visit a doctor or car, chiropractor chiro, chiropractor or suffer through the pain? If your car broke down, would you call for a tow truck or push the vehicle to your destination? The spirit freely seeks the support and assistance of others when help is called for without hesitation or judgment this this not only makes life easier it also allows others to share their light with you right now your limits you're at a limit of your own expertise and could use some aid seek input of an expert someone who is able to offer you knowledge not excuse me Seek the input of an expert, someone who is able to offer you knowledge you don't readily possess yourself. It can be an advisor, a counselor, a teacher, a guide, or even your partner. Don't allow false pride of the ego to subject you to suffering through the present when with a little help you can sail through the choppy waters of those of these times with grace. All right. So your divine masculine, whoever this resonates with, um, may need to seek an expert you guys they can't do it at home they're at a point where um they're stuck they have no way they have no which way to go so we have the two of cups we may be dealing with a scorpio pisces cancer divine masculine you may have this energy as well what i'm seeing here um they may need to seek expertise from you or from a close friend you know the two of cups could talk about a friendship and a partnership all right there's some healing needed so they may need to seek some expertise on how to heal a partnership possibly with their divine feminine all right or they may need to even just speak to you about what's best for the relationship all right they're at a crossroad here with what to do they're stuck all right I just heard one of those famous saying from Alice, Alice in Wonderland. If you're very familiar with Alice in Wonderland, go and big up yourself with your favorite line. I'm interested into knowing what you have to say. All right. So with the Ace of Pentacles, for me, a lot of the times the Ace of Pentacles could talk about a new financial opportunity. All right. It could also talk about a new opportunity in the physical with a partnership. Hey, being with this, the 
connecting cards or surrounding cards. It talks about a new job as well. And there could be some wealth that's coming in as well. So this uh, divine masculine may need to talk to you about something that's coming in into their life. Um, they may need some type of expertise that you may be able to um, offer. Or again, they may need to seek somebody else that they may uh, their ego may not be allowing them to do. Maybe feeling that that is weak at the moment. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So we have some Leo energy. We do have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy as well. So you may be dealing with these energies or um, this just may be the overall energy as well. We do have the Leo card, you know, taking a lot of, <laughs> it's taking a lot of courage and strength to resist the urge of um, reaching out here. All right. That's what I'm just getting. I feel like they want to offer a new beginning in the physical. So um, they may be feeling you energetically, spiritually, emotionally, but not wanting something new in the physical. And they may be resisting this as well. Um, the divine feminine could very much be an expertise in whatever um, department, career or passion that you're into. And they feel like you do have um, the necessary resources to heal any type of rifts in this partnership. But again, it's the courage, it's the strength, it's um, to work up the self-esteem to come forward, hey, to move forward, to come forward, to find their home. I just heard um, to find my way back home. They're not wanting to give in to accent for some reason, to seek in that expertise. All right. Oh, did you guys see that? <laughs> so we have the nine of cups with the empress. Okay, immediately what I got is their ego is um, stopping them from asking the divine feminine who could be a Libra, a Libra, a Taurus, doesn't have to be. You could also have a lot of um, water energy in your chart or you could be very in tune with water. Uh, maybe you're um, a sea lover, an ocean lover of that sort. But what I'm feeling here is that the, your divine masculine may be feeling that you are emotionally stable right now and coming to you may uh, disrupt that as well. So you do bring a lot of emotional fulfillment. You are this person's uh, emotional wish. So you are very appealing to their emotions. You give a lot of uh, stability emotionally to this person. All right. This may be, um, something that would be emotionally pleasing to your divine masculine. If they could just muster up the courage and the strength to really come forward towards you, you may be very abundant at this time. They may be watching you in a new beginning as well. So somebody else may be having um, your attention or you may have a new relationship that's kicking off. And this is something that um, they may be resistant to come forward towards you. All right. They, they're seeing you as um, flourishing. Also very comfortable in where you're at as well. I also feel like with the divine masculine, they look at the divine feminine as ever changing, always um, growing, always evolving. And they feel like you have a lot of harvest. You have accumulated a lot of achievements. You set out to do what you say you're going to do and accomplish it. And this is something that they find that you are um, very strong and an expert in what you're doing. Because again, you have that um, stamina to pull through to complete things. All right. You're very feminine as well, but you're guarded as well. Or you're strong. You have this soft but strong energy about yourself. Their ego is stopping them from moving forward to different opportunities when it comes to their divine feminine in the physical is what I just got you guys. All right. So what else I'm picking up is that you bring a lot of satisfaction, a lot of happiness. Their wish feels granted with the divine feminine. For some of you, um, they may be going through some hardships with a child's parent. Somebody could have had a newborn baby and this is making them very happy despite that it's not with their divine feminine. Some of you could have very much had a baby with your divine masculine and this was some kind of wish granted. But I always feel like something is very hidden with this uh, um, tablecloth. What's hiding underneath the table here? Almost like a hidden agenda. So some of you, your divine masculine could have got you pregnant as some type of hidden agenda. This was a wish granted. It's like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the, I'm that, I'm that shit, you know, I'm that bitch is what I was going to say, but I held back. 
<laughs> yeah, I could see that um, they always see you as um, always maturing, always evolving, always transitioning. And they see you as an expert in whatever is going on between the both of you. An expert in healing. So you may be some type of relationship guru as well. A spiritual guru. And a lot of guilt or shame or they feel very weak not feeling good about themselves yeah so they're going to be holding back whatever they want to ask this person may be feeling very selfish at this time they may be in this king of swords energy not wanting to um speak their mind here so uh let's talk about the uh four of pentacles you guys so they may see you as financial stable. You're financial stable. You may be very frugal. You know how to save. They may also feel like you're being selfish. You have more than enough and not willing to give readily. <laughs> what now? Yeah. They may see you as protecting what you have accomplished, your abundance, even your uh, abundant mindset. So in the past where you may have been given and supportive, they see you as holding that back now. They may also see you as in this king of swords energy, or they may be in that king of swords energy. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I just find this very hilarious for some reason. They feel entitled for some. All right. So let's talk about the king of swords. So um, they may be very logic or, or right now. They may want to lead the situation with truth and integrity. Um, this could be some type of wish fulfillment to be in this energy. Again, Libra, Taurus. Sorry. Well, maybe dealing with a Taurus. What I'm seeing is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could also be king of swords. Oh, you guys, I just have so many things going through my mind. This may be a, uh, Aquarius with Capricorn energy, all about their money. Um, you feminines could be seeing the divine masculine as ve being very greedy, um, not wanting to um, contribute or help out. Money could very much be on this person's mind as well. Some type of greed is going on here, you guys. They may have a lot of thoughts about, you know, reconnecting with you, having union, but they're holding that back or they're holding on to the memory of it, the fantasy of it. So we have a lot of blue here as well. Let me move my books to the side before they fall right down because I've been reading before I started. All right. So they, may, they have a lot of blue here that's covering their body. So what I'm getting here is um, they may be a little bit depressed. Even though they're very logic right now, they're very depressed. They feel like the divine feminine is a wish granted, but they're holding back possibly money. Again, they may have had a new job. The divine feminine may have a new job and it's like trying to hold, trying to save as much as they could. You know? Tell me more about this king of swords, beloved. What's going on with this king of swords? All right. So they may be very much waiting waiting for some shifts to come in, waiting for you to drop the baggage when it comes to them. Hmm. Yeah, they're having a lot of visions, you guys. They probably, okay, so being that the divine feminine is a wish come true or wish granted, they're having a lot of visions. They're, op they're optimistic or they're intuitive. They're very excited they have a lot of enthusiasm about these visions that they've, they've been getting. They may be saving, all right, or they may be holding back that this is what's on their mind a lot with the King of Swords, ready to put in action, ready to fight for their wish come true or their wish. But again, they may be waiting for something to come in, waiting for more money. They could be also waiting for the Divine Feminine to come through, for her to drop the baggages and come through. <laughs> one more card beloved yeah they want to be able to manifest this wish um they wish that they have here but they're holding it back so that's what's underneath the tablecloth that they're holding back some funds or they're holding back it's like they they're holding back but they could do more they can do more 
All right, judgment. Somebody made a judgment call. Somebody made a final decision on this situation. Could be the divine feminine or they have come to a final conclusion that they're just going to wait it out. They're going to hold on and wait it out. They think that this is the logic, the most logic thing to do. They're very calm or they have clarity. All right, so the overall energy is a five of wands. There's a lot of competition. So they may be feeling like it's a lot of competition to get to the divine feminine. The, the divine feminine may feel like it's too much competition. So she's sitting on her throne. Hey, um, baby mothers, other baby mothers or baby daddies could be involved. And somebody's trying to hold on to their funds. Somebody just got a new job as well, or they're going to have a new job and they're going to take a lot of strength and courage to move forward with this new job as well. Yeah, somebody wanted a new job, somebody applied for a new job, and it's going to be wish granted here. Judgment has been called, so there's been an outcome. Somebody decided something here, and they're very clear about it, that they may gonna, they're just going to wait, they're going to hold on. But they're feeling very possessive here. Um, let's get some more cards with my personal deck. Yeah, so... <laughs> They may be just going to hold back, you know, when they should be speaking up, seeking expertise, they may just hold back, you know. So just know, Divine Feminine, that they do want to seek um, your counsel. They do want to seek um, your thoughts. They want to know what you're thinking. Um, but I feel like they're just going to hold back. They're going to wait. But they're tired of sitting back. It says, I'm tired of sitting back. Yeah, because they're conflicted. They're very much conflicted, but they feel like... Um, it could be a possibility that they just feel too aggressive right now. And if they come forward, it's going to end in conflict. It's going to be like a competition or some type of rivalry. A lot of waiting. So the both of you may be waiting, mirroring each other with who's going to come forward first. I do feel like the both of you know that this is your wish come true, but you're closed off. You're being very stubborn with the four of pentacles and the nine of cups with his hands crossed. Like, you know what? It's going to be my way or the highway type of. Um, energy and this is what's hidden they're not they're not telling you but they're they're behaving this way <laughs> tell us more beloved tell us more beloved <laughs> yeah they're ready to manifest we have two uh where is it two two with the judgment card um, it's like, yeah, I'm ready to manifest this, but I'm going to hold back. I'm going to wait. This is very logic for me to do. Um, they could be also transitioning um, mentally as well. You know, they may have just gotten into a new job, a new financial opportunity, and this is what they're using as an excuse to not come forward. But it's really about self-worth, self-esteem issues here. They may feel like you have too much power or control over them or you, your, your presence, your energy controls the situation. But secretly, they admire that. <laughs> Some of you um, angels are guiding um, your divine masculine. They may be feeling like they're guided to wait. Some of you are experiencing ghosts or um, supernatural uh, events. For some of you, the holidays. All right, so they may have gotten a new job for the holidays. Somebody's birthday is coming up as well, and they may want to offer a gift. But it's like, I'm going to hold back. I'm holding it for you. That's for some of you. Some of you, what they're holding back is that they got someone pregnant or somebody is pregnant, and they know that that's going to cause a judgment call. They want to reconcile, but they're holding all of this in. So with the judgment call, it could also talk about wanting to revive the situation between the both of you, seeking advice from other people how to do that. On a pro unprocessed emotional trauma. So they're having some type of panic attacks. They feel like a victim of their circumstances. Some of them could very much fe uh, be physically ill because of these unprocessed emotions. They're having mysterious aches and pains. Um, because of unprocessed emotional trauma, they have gotten involved in things that cause physical illnesses. And they're very conflicted about that. They may want to talk to you about that or that's where they need to seek um 
professional help as well. Again, they may have these mysterious pains that they're not going to see the doctor about. Um, they may need to talk to a, a counselor or a psychiatrist and they're just not doing it. All right. They're holding it in with the four of pentacles. Could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, um, a Capricorn energy. So decision, can I have the best of both? Please don't pressure me. Mm. So they're holding back and they're waiting for you to come forward because they still need to make a decision on how they're going to take this, where they're going to take this at. But they're having a lot of visions. You are their wish come true. Tell me some more. We spoke once about lovers who kept finding each other no, no matter how many times the world came between them. And I think I had to break your heart and you had to break mine. How else could we know the worth of what we're given, my love? So, you know, <clears throat> they're very aware that a lot of um, conflicts had to happen. Rivalries, competition got in the way. But even though everything had came you know, everything came between the both of you. The love kept going. They still wanted to revive it. They still wanted to reconnect. All right. They still want to hold on. They're still waiting. So all of this is indicators for your divine masculine that you are their wish come true. You are their wish granted. The universe gave them you. But again, they know they have a decision to make with the two of cups. So they may want, they may have a decision to come in and be friends or to take it to the next level. Or again, maybe between you and some type of child parent um, that they really need to be firm, have the courage to move forward on whatever they decide to do. All right. So it says history, um, ancient and past life. So they may be feeling like, um, I don't know. I feel like you, they feel like you guys had some type of past life connection. They known you from a different world. Uh, again, something to do with ghosts and spirits grown apart. So they may be feeling like you guys are growing apart, you guys, and it's very conflicting to them. Or they may feel like if they don't come in and do something to revive it with the judgment card, you guys are definitely going to grow apart. You guys are maturing and evolving every day. You guys are having different love languages. And it's like the more the silence is here because it's like a lot of things, are, a lot of petty things are stopping the connection. And it's all due to ego feeling like weak or feeling like um, incompetent, inadequate. All of that is stopping this divine masculine from bonding, but they could feel like you guys are worlds apart or too many things are coming between of you guys. And if they don't do something, um, make a choice is going to be unrequited love, or they're going to make, they're going to influence the divine feminine to look at the situation as unrequited, unrequited love. But they do feel like this again with ghosts and spirits, they do feel like this is some type of past life um, connection. Like you have known each other for a very long time. It feels very familiar, even though it's uh, too many, uh, too much of a distance. It's worlds apart. They're still holding on. They're still hopeful. They're still having visions. So all of these are indicators that they, you are the empress. You are their wish come true. All right. So I'm going to stop it there or should I? No, let's get one more card. One more card, beloved. All right, so it says, walk about. You discover your path in sacred walkabout. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. The indigenous, indigenous, I hope that I pronounced that right, lessons, you find the will to survive. In indigenous lessons, you find the will to survive. All right, so they may be just um, very, they're maybe just in a survival mode right now. And this is what's preventing them. Again, they have a lot of ego, not wanting to seek professional help. Some of the, some of them may be very much um, physically ill, having a lot of panic, panic attack, anxiety attack because of a lot of unprocessed emotional trauma, feeling inadequate, feeling like they just don't have the strength, the courage to come forward. Yet they know who the divine feminine is to them, what they want with them, what they could see themselves having with the visions, with the judgment. And they have some lessons to go, you guys. All right. So again, I hope you guys did enjoy that reading with the Divine Masculine Energy Update. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Again, big up yourself in the comment box. Keep the energy going. Keep the uh, channel going. Keep the free readings going, you guys. All right. 
So see you guys in another video. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.